bitches, every city in my tribe. Uh, look, 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 look behind. Booty dominate the world, peaches right. Women do the same thing when they go to those type of events too. Yeah, I wouldn't know. But yeah, I've heard that before. Like I've heard that, you know, that whole thing, mm-hmm. that idea of like, well, women are just You guys can deny it all you want. You know you do. No, no, no. I'm not I hear this from men. I've heard it for years, you know, growing up with certain men I, I grew up with, obviously. And uh this whole thing, well, women are even grosser. Oh, you should hear the way they talk. And it's like, who fucking cares? You know? Like if they are like being gross, like there's no law against it you know and 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 the 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 point i was making early about men resenting power it's it's just like you know it's ah crap sorry i fucking lost it again uh but no i uh, I, I love i love when my my woman feels like she's got that power i love it i don't resent it then but but, you you simply said because i enjoy looking at the men thunder down under therefore i'm objectifying them so you're you're saying you do objectify your wife do I objectify my wife? Yeah, you said you like looking at her when she's I mean, is I think that- we... Those are real people having on stage that are having a real effect well, I mean, on I the people. I answer the question, because that's the definition that he gave me for what objectification is. Sorry. So, maybe, maybe these comments are right. Explain to me, because I have my own personal opinion on the definition of objectifying, right? I, I haven't looked it up. I'm pretty sure I understand what objectifying means. But what is your definition of objectification? Where you see them as an object and not a person. I'm going to have to jump off here soon, but um, I keep getting a phone call. But anyway, I no, I see my wife as a person, a very beautiful person. Great. I, I, I don't see her as an object. In Thunder Down Under are people and that they are not objects. But you're, you wouldn't feel the same way if they came out on stage with all their clothes on and, and that it wouldn't be the entertainment that you went there looking for. You are objectifying them and their bodies. We're just essentially talking about the male gaze. And no, women do not have the same as the male gaze. Yeah, uh, Jess, uh, really? Jessa Minette said you can appreciate and not objectify. And, uh, you know, I, I remember like before I came out as a bi man, I remember uh, years ago <laughs> seeing a picture of a male ballet dancer just like flying through the air and he was actually nude you didn't see anything but he was nude and this is the most perfect friggin body that i have ever seen in my life like and uh and it's like you know and there's and and i just that was like one of those moments where i was like wow like there is nothing wrong with crediting that beauty and what or whatever that person put into that Uh, i remember like struggling around issues of, you know, growing up around like a lot of toxicity in the eighties around sex and sexuality and uh, just how, you know, you're shamed for liking the things you're supposed to like, even, even if society tells you it's perfectly normal, like you're saying like, uh, you know, it's, you know, where, where people are objectifying women and it's like, well, yeah, but we're just wired this way. And, And I feel like, it really is just to make a general argument that we're being hypocritical. And and I think, I think this argument of like, well, that's hypocritical. That doesn't line up. That's inconsistent. I think a lot of times, while that can be a true accusation, a lot of times it's a refusal on the part of the make person making that accusation to recognize complexities in life. Like life is pretty complex. So, like you can't boil before I jump off. Two things. Hey, take my phone here, for example. Is this a person, place, or object? Here we go into one of your Kenzieisms, isn't it? That is an object. Great. And if I put a sweater on it, is it a person, place, or object? It's an object with a sweater on it. Great. And if you put a scarf on it, as well as the sweater, is it a person, place, or object? It is an object with a sweater and a scarf. Great. So it doesn't necessarily matter how much clothes I put on it. It's still an object. 
Okay. So why should it matter how much clothes a human on has on or off? They are still a person, correct? They are still a person. But when we go to specific events, but, we are oh, not going there. Stop, the, stop there. Just, just let me talk. Come on, Kenzie. I have shown you respect. Show me a little. I was just telling you for your own sake, you should stop right before the butt because you had it. See, see, it's like, yeah, Here, yeah, she's right. Because you want to just jump in and say, oh, but what? But in the case of this thing, no, no, like, no. You're see, for you guys impurity. are assuming you know what I want to say. And when you assume, Kenzie, what's that it's, famous saying? I know, I'm making ass out of you yeah, and me. You make an ass out of you and me. But you're looking for an imperfection. And again, like I just said, you're, you know, life is more complex. And you're saying, but if you go to that thing, then that means. And it's like, come on, dude. Like, come on. Give it a break. Like it's you know, no, the left no. is always accused of being puritanical, and it's like, yeah, but you guys are always forcing us to that standard, you know, by doing that. Oh, yep. oh, you went to that thing that all right. Time. So let me talk sometime soon, huh? Okay. Yeah, Anytime? Yep. All right, my turn. I was all right. quiet for a while. So like I was explaining. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought. We good? My turn. Okay. All right, so like I was explaining earlier, I used to be a bouncer at a strip club, okay? We used to hold events for the women, and we had the normal everyday thing. When those, when we had events like Thunder Down Under there and stuff like that, those, the women that went there, did not come there and treat those men like they would do any other men anywhere else. Okay. They treated them like objects. Okay. Just like the men that go there to the strip club, they don't treat them like a normal person. They meet out anywhere else. Okay. They treat them like objects. What my point was, and this is going to be my final point before I get off, because I got to make some phone calls. My point is this. If you believe in, you know, women being treated the right way and going after, you should not believe in sex work is work. Because you are telling a woman to go to a work where she is going to be objectified. That is not okay. I don't think you could see the point if you were standing on it. Well, I don't think you can see my point if you were standing on it either, Kenzie. You're just projecting. Like, you literally see sexual... sexual <laughs> and you don't project 90% on your lives. What are you talking? What do I project? <laughs> you project your point of view and your opinion on everything. Please send me your address so I can send you a dictionary. <laughs> no i don't think i don't think we need to be swapping addresses there kenzie but it was a joke anyway oh my god <laughs> but that is my but but, but wasn't it but, when but you a debate on... is about putting out different beliefs and i have yeah. mine and you got to understand that people that have a different belief than you are not always wrong. Research. That's the difference. So. <laughs> but, so but that is but it. Did you, not, did you not come on here because you found a fine point in which to call us hypocrites? Like, was that not your motivation? It's like, aha, but that's objectivization. Like, isn't that, wasn't that your thing, right? I came on here to point out that I believe sex work is work is no, totally that's not what doing I'm nothing good for for the women and the view of women. When a woman wears what she does on how a man treats her. <laughs> I if if I was talking over him too much, I'm sorry. I didn't feel like I was, but there were a few points that were I was getting tired with but well i've debated him several times he doesn't make any good points yeah yeah
I'm so fucking cute, bitch. 